I am Maria Garcia de Flori. The Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross, also known as the Feast of the Triumph of the Cross, commemorates three historical events. The discovery of the true cross in the year 326, its initial exaltation for public veneration in the year 335, and the recovery of the cross from the Persians in 622. Today, this festival also celebrates the unlimited impact of the cross of Christ on all creation. In the year 326, Emperor Constantine's mother, called Saint Helen, a devout Christian, went to Jerusalem seeking to find the true cross of Christ and to build a church on the sites of Mount Calvary and the tomb of Jesus known as the Holy Sepulchre. After an investigation, the local b bishop confirmed that the crosses found by St. Helen were Jesus and the two thieves who were crucified with him. Since Helen did not know which was the cross of Christ, she had a sick woman touch all three. The woman was immediately healed by touching one of them, indicating that it was the true cross. Although we commemorate these historic events today, the center of our celebration is not the physical wood of the cross, nor the sacred places where Jesus died and was buried. The primary focus is the infinite love shown through the perfect selfless sa sacrifice of the Son of God and the boundless mercy that has been poured out upon the Word as a result. The cross itself is a cruel instrument of torture and death, the fact that it is now the symbol of God's perfect love only magnifies that love further and shows God's infinite power to use the worst for the best, to use death to bring life and transform the greatest act of cruelty into the greatest act of mercy granted to the world. The cross of Christ must permeate each of us, transforming us and making us new. This happens when we open ourselves to the infinite mercy of God that flows from that selfless sacrifice. It also happens when we allow each of us our sufferings, the injustice we endure, the crosses of each day, the difficulties and the most undesirable aspects of our lives, to share in the redemptive power of Christ. We do this when we embrace Jesus' commands to share his sufferings, unite them with his own, and allow him to bear abundant good fruit through us. Jesus said, Whoever wants to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me, because whoever wants to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for me will find it. Friends, as we commemorate the triumph of the cross of Christ, remember the crosses you carry each day. More often than not, when faced with crosses, we look for a way out, succumbed to self-pity, and are often tempted by anger and despair. Instead, try to allow Jesus to enter these crosses in your life, into your suffering, transform them, and use them for His glory, for your good and the good of others, and thus produce an abundance of good fruits that only God can achieve, because with God we always win.